Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks, where I show you a product or a repair. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick repair that you might find yourself in need of, and that is on an Apple Watch. Sometimes things go wrong during an Apple Watch repair and a flex cable is damaged. Or maybe a flex cable was exposed to some liquid and got damaged that way which is this case. So let's go into the microscope real quick with this Apple Watch so I can give you some tips and tricks on how to replace the flex cables. As you can see here, we've got a little bit of damage on the connector. We're missing some of the traces and overall it just isn't looking good. Let's peel back the sticker very carefully. Add some flux and carefully take our soldering iron over each one of the pads. Got a little bit of tension on the flex cable, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Enough that uh, when the soldering iron passes over each one of the points, uh, the when it, the solder melts, it'll pull away from that without pulling the pad off the board. So I'm barely putting any tension on the flex cable. And, uh, and it'll work for me in this case. I'm just gonna carefully uh, kiss the flex cable with the soldering iron, continuing to move along down the whole flex cable like this. It'll easily re remove it without having to add any additional solder. Just a little bit of patience. Add flux when needed and continue on down until the flex is completely removed. Flux prevents the solder from oxidizing and helps it flow nice and smoothly. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take the soldering iron and I'm gonna go over the pads just to make sure they're all still intact, nice, and kind of spread out the solder evenly amongst them. Now the solder that's on here, I can leave it on there, totally fine. I'm gonna add some more solder actually just to get as much solder as I possibly can on each pad. Here I've got some uh, 138 uh, solder paste that I'm putting on here. Let me go over and just get as much solder on each one of those pads as it will allow me to without them. Uh, I'm just gonna get as much solder on each pad as I can, creating a nice little pillow of solder on top of each pad. And I'm going to do this so that they're nice and even. There's no high points or low points across uh, between the pads. I'm going to take a clean room wipe and some isopropyl alcohol and my brush here. And I'm going to clean off all of the burnt flux. Get it down to the nice bare bone board. There it is, nice and clean. We'll add some new flux and spread it out evenly amongst the solder, amongst the pads. Get our new flux cable and add flux to the top of it as well. Now you notice this little hole here, I'm gonna line up the little uh, gold square with it and tack one in place. We'll move on to the other side as well and find that gold square and line it up. Now I'm just gonna go and secure both ends by tacking a few more around it. Let's go back up to the other side and just reposition it just ever so slightly so that it's more centered inside that little hole there. Right there, that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to uh, gently pull the solder through each one of those little holes. And I'm gonna do this by just carefully touching the surface of the flex cable, moving quickly back and forth, slowly letting that flex cable basically lower itself to where it's touching the, the board itself. And all of the solder has pulled through the holes, connecting each hole through to, uh, to the board and making a nice solid joint. And I'm just gonna go individually just to make sure they're all nice and tacked so that I don't have to do any testing. I know that they're solid by actually seeing the solder pull through. And there we go. Now I just need to clean it up. So I'm gonna take my clean room wipe again, more isopropyl alcohol 
and the brush and we're going to do the same thing we did before and clean off all of the old flux down to a nice dry uh, flex cable where we can put the sticker back over the top and call it a day. Nice solid joints there. And here goes the sticker. We'll end it back up. If the sticker didn't survive peeling it off, I could have used Captain Tape and it would have just worked just fine. And that would have worked just fine. And there we go. Flex cables all replaced. This can go back into the watch. Good to go. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Leave a comment below if there's another repair or product that you would like to see in an upcoming video. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.